All right, so today I thought it'd be a good idea to come out here to Alaska, but this time we'll be taking out the M1 and we're going to be going open sights. I don't believe we've ever hunted like this before, so it's going to be interesting. Moose, you are one lucky moose. Oh, but I'm kind of interested in a couple of these species over here. Mainly being... This bull. Right there. It's going to be about a 250 yard shot. And can we make it? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was perfect. We held upper lung for about 260. And it should be perfect. We got a call from a fox over here. That's a good bull there. Don't don't get me wrong, but uh, that bull didn't even, or I should say that moose didn't even spook. There's our bull right there. Down to 25%. All right, we will mark where he's at. Way the heck over there. And then we're going to try and get a shot off on this grizzly cutting across at 300 yards. It's a hit. It's definitely a hit. And I think that might be another hit, actually. Now, I am a little bit curious, though, what we would have hit right here. We do have hunting pressure. Oh, a bear. Two bear. Female. Out of breath. Catch your breath, dude. Catch your breath. Oh, that shot was money. Oh, so was that. Oh! Oh! Come on. One of those definitely connected. Either way, they should cut across this bridge right here. And if they do, we'll get a shot. Well, let's find out how we did and what it even was. I would imagine it's probably a female, but you never know. Oh, what a shot. I told you guys that was money. Such an incredible running shot at 200 yards. And we got a lung shot. I'm talking running wide open across that lake. Holy, you thought that grizzly went far. This moose is still going here. Finally got it down to 0%. But it went a good 300 plus yards. And here it is down 360 yards. But our shot was a 239 yard lung shot. Actually hit him in the exact same spot that we were aiming for. Like literally didn't get any drop. And that's because he was less than 250. 249 yards we were shooting kind of uphill mostly flat and we were holding for top of the lung that's exactly where we hit so we know this thing is definitely accurate okay here we go now that's what i'm talking about we got a giant grizzly out there it's an eight mythical and he's a good ways out there but we also happen to have a tree stand set up right here where we should be able to have a pretty good view in order to go for a nice shot now, it's still not going to be super easy at all. It's going to be about a 235-yard shot. Remember, we're going to be using open sights here. Whoa, whoa, we got another one. And that should be taking him down. Whew, I was a little worried that that big mythical was going to spook. And honestly, if we check... We actually have hunting pressure from that grizzly that we just shot running past us. So that means we definitely connected on that shot. It was running right through there at about 50 yards, which wasn't very far. But we didn't have a ton of time to get that shot off. So somehow we must have connected. And we will definitely go mark that location and go look for it in a little bit. Actually, it looks like it is right on the other side of another tree stand, which I honestly forgot there was another stand over there. But anyways... Looks like this grizzly is about to give us a shot here at 460 yards. Wait, that's not 460. Why the heck did I say 460 yards? No, that's like 280. Maybe 280. But he's angled a little bit too much, especially the fact that we're going to take him open sights. Now, it would be really cool if we could maybe try and call him in if we had the caller, which... We actually do have the caller. And is there a grizzly call on this thing? Yes, there is. <sighs> you guys know exactly what we're about to do. We got to make sure we don't spook this grizzly, though. One, because we don't want him to take off. And two, because we really don't want him to come running after us to get some dinner. But I'm thinking this should be good right about... Oh, that's only 220, actually. We got to get closer. 
225. Yeah, we got to get as close as possible here. All right, that's going to be as close as we can get right there. Right there. Here we go. Well, let's get back over into the stand and get ready. Because that right there is one big old grizzly. You know, at this point, I'd say we could probably turn that collar on and see if we can't get this big grizzly to come in. All right, we'll see what that does. You see, if you would just turn a little more broadside, I wouldn't mind going for that shot. I really wouldn't. But from the angle that we have there, it is not ideal. In fact, it's far from it. Well, maybe not far, but it's angled way too much. Let's just put it at that. So I think the only thing we can do is somehow try and get his attention, which I'm curious if this is even going to be feasible. Well, we got one other option here. And let's take the 10 millimeter. Did he really not spook from that? Maybe we got to get a little closer. Okay. That almost hit him. That literally almost hit his leg. There's no way that didn't spook. Okay. We finally got his attention. No. Wait. 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 He is coming straight for us, you guys. Oh, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. And he's already slowing down. I believe he's coming into the call. The caller is right there. And he is right there. Oh. Look at this. These collars never work on the Grizzly for some reason. And now it's actually working. Watch this. He's about to step out right there. And he's going to be 100 yards out. All right. He is crossing. But we got to get him to slow down. I was thinking he was going to slow down, but it appears that... Oh, he stopped for a second. Oh, come on. Oh, that was money. You better go down from that shot. Yes, it was. He's going down, guys. He is going down. Wow, that was cool. I wasn't sure if we'd get the penetration from that angle, but we held it right on the heart. And at less than 150 yards, you would think that we'd get the penetration to get a vital hit. Well, it appears that that's what happened. All right. Now that was kind of the perfect scenario there where we had a big grizzly come into the call, but unfortunately he didn't quite stop. However, he stopped for just long enough there the third time that we managed to put that thing right on the heart and squeeze one off. Remember, this is the M1 with a 30 odd six caliber, so it's just barely big enough to take down a Grizzly. Which is kind of the ultimate challenge. We're using a very low powered rifle with super difficult sights to try and make accurate shots. And we got some good blood. We also got a big Grizzly down right here all right well, let's take a look at him oh wow that's a giant that is our biggest mythical of all time 65.5 he missed it i mean less than a decimal point that is how close this bear was to being a diamond and there's our shot at 130 yards. Actually got some super solid penetration right behind the shoulder and kind of just nicked the back of the blade there, but still managed to go through and get a single lung and actually penetrated almost all the way through that lung 
headed to the second one. But a very, very nice shot placement. Absolutely perfect shot placement. And a massive grizzly, which ended up weighing 1,320 pounds. Wow. That's a big old bear. And I would not want to be stuck in the woods with that thing. All right, well, it's not that big, but we do happen to have another grizzly here. It's a female, and she's definitely angled at a pretty good angle. Now, I'd like to use the collar again, but it seems like the collar just isn't doing much. So we're going to go for a shot right here. And again, we'll try and catch the heart. It looked like a pretty incredible shot to me. It was. Because she's down to 50% health. What a nice shot. And she shouldn't be going far. Yeah, we got to start holding a little bit higher next time. Because honestly, any one of these shots could easily connect on the shoulder. And if it does, it's going to stop that bullet on the dime. Well, down to 25% health, and it looks like it should be going down right in this thicket. Yep, that's exactly where he is. Right here. So let's take a look at that shot and assess how we did with the M1. Okay, it's a 51.6, and we actually made a pretty promising shot. A little more forward than what I would have liked, but uh, overall, a great, great shot. Ooh, we got a fox cutting across here. I thought I just saw a male, but apparently there's a female right there now i know we can't use the m1 so we're gonna bust out the 223 and try and take the sight off this thing to go for a shot right there oh it looked good it looks so good we definitely got him a little bit forward but he was walking so oh hold on hold on hold on hold on what do we got here he was just running back right there. Oh, we dropped him. We dropped him right there. We literally dropped him right there. Maybe it was more. Oh, there it is. Wow, there's a lot of fox tracks here. But that was a vital hit. Looks like the first shot let it a little too much got it in the, in the neck there and then the second shot got shoulder blade and lung 1000 cash for that red fox for a female that thing looks pretty vicious not gonna lie all right so we did take a shot at about 150 yards before but now we're gonna go for a roughly 250 yard shot on this female grizzly but we're also way up on the top of this bridge here looking downwards and Oh, we got a bunch of grizzly. They're all female. I was hoping there might be a male there. But um, that doesn't mean there couldn't be one somewhere around the corner. However, we're going to go for a shot right here at about 250 yards. All right, here we go. Now, this shot has to be perfect. We held low to compensate for this elevation. And that should be about right yes it was yes it was we basically held for upper heart but because we're oh, i don't know a good 250 feet up in the air we had a lot of elevation and she's gonna go down right there look how far she went with a lung shot but she did just pile up right there and these bear they're still chilling here but that's a female so ideally i'd like to find at least a male we got another female there and then looks like we have a bunch of bull caribou down here but i believe that there should be at least one good male grizzly somewhere down here got a cow moose there another bull caribou there all right change the plans we're going back to the first plan and that is going for a shot on this grizzly Quartering away at 211 yards. We held a little bit low, but that looked good to me. And, well, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. We're going to need a follow-up. 
All right, here we go. Oh, that looked good. We definitely got her hit again for sure. Oh, that was really good. She's down 25% and she's going to pile up right there. She is down. So, in fact, that second shot wasn't just good. It was exceptional. Oh, what do we got over there? Oh, that's what we've been looking for. A big old level 7 male. 350 yards out. Oh, I don't know if we can take that far of a shot. I mean, 300 is pushing it. Let's be real. But 350 open sights. We got some more bear down over here. And we actually have yet another male. Looks like... 49, 47. Okay, yeah. Two female and a male over there. Well, well, well. What do we have right here? None other than our huge level 7 grizzly. But he's 400 yards away. And he is perfectly broadside. Well, I'll tell you what. If he's going to hang out right there... Whew. We're going to see if we can't go for a shot. I think if we hold it right on the spine, we should be good. It's a hit. It's a hit. It's a hit. Come on. 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 Yes! That's what I'm talking about! We pulled it off! What a shot! A 400 yard open sight shot on a huge level 7 grizzly. That thing was so far that the percentage just dropped as he popped out of render. I would say we should probably give him some time to go down, but it looks like we got hunting pressure. So that means we could head over there and go look for him. You know, I just realized he's actually still on this island. He never made it off. He was right there and we watched him run back that way and that was the last place we saw him before he popped out of render. So, uh, something tells me that there's going to be a big grizzly on the other end of this island. Unless, there he is right there! There he is right there! So what happened is, we shot him here, he ran across this island and crossed that crossing, made it to the other side of the inland over there, and that's it. That was all she wrote for him. He ended up piled up right there. Wow, that was cool. All right, here's our grizzly down right here. Here is our grizzly down, and there's yet another grizzly down over there. Ooh, that's a dark, dark grizzly. Oh, another big male. Whew, that's cool. Holy, we literally just took one down there a little while ago. In fact, there should be some hunting pressure. Oh, maybe not. Uh, we took that, that small five down over here before. And now we happen to have another five and a huge level seven. But this is definitely the main topic of the nights and potentially breaking a new record. Oh my God, is that thing a giant 62.99, almost a 63 scoring gold, gray brown grizzly. And that was most importantly a 416 yard lung shots now it's difficult to go for that far of a shot with the ar 300 and a scope for that matter but we pulled it off with the m1 grand and the 30 odd six caliber bullet without using a scope 100 percent open sights from the top of the highest point on this map and we absolutely made an incredible shot Wow. Well, on that note, that's going to be it for this video. Kind of hard to beat that. Kind of hard to beat that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I wish you guys an amazing weekend. We'll see you next time. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? We took the shot from right over there. Now take a look at this. That is literally how far away 
That bear was when we took the shot. 